Okay, guys, I think we have to start for now. Just a quick reminder before we start for my friends Muhammad and Abdelaziz. Today it's uh, a revision session, inshallah, on this topic, the last one we have covered, A World Without Rules, as we have finished the last part of the text last week. So today we have a quick summary or a quick revision, then we have the summary for this topic. Okay? So because uh, Abdelaziz Laid wasn't with us, he lost some of the last parts of the text. So I will start with him now for the quick revision for the vocabulary, okay? Okay. Okay, Abdelaziz. So we need to rem remember the vocabulary. The first one was? Amendments. Yes, amendments which means improvements, like when you make something better or you try to make something better. Can you read the example for amendments? I made, I made some amendments to my project. Yes, excellent. The second word. Commitment. 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 Yeah, commitment. Um, commitment means something, something you must do. Let me add here, do. Something you must do. Mm. Like simply, the homework is your, um, your commitment at home every day. Something you are responsible to do it. You can't neglect it or leave it. You must do it. Can you give the example? Getting the... Well, Mark, is my commitment this year. Excellent, Azuz. Let me move with you to the third word. Books promise. Uh, Compromise. Yes, this one is very close, but the last part here is my, so it will be compromise. <laughs> An agreement. Yes. An agreement. Compromise means an agreement. Something you and me accepted. Okay, the example. I and my brother compromised on using the laptop one hour for each one of us. Yes, like you were fighting for playing with the laptop, but you have compromised on playing one hour for each one of you. It's for me. Oh, Muhammad Faris? No, Muhammad Faris, you will be with the, the first uh, part of the text. You will remind us with the first uh, part of the text for reading, okay? Democracy. Democracy. Mm. Muhammad, we are still with Abdelaziz Laid, okay? Because he wasn't, he wasn't with us for the last two uh, or three uh, sessions. So, Abdelaziz? Hello. Okay, complete. Democracy. Yes, democracy. The right to choose what you want. Yes, the example. I am free to choose my meal at home as a kind of democracy. Democracy. So democracy means when you are free. Okay, when you are free to choose what you want. This one. Eventually. Excellent. Eventually finally. means finally. Yes. Finally. And we I have a lovely example here. I searched for Nutella in many markets. Eventually, I found it at Carrefour. Yes. The next one. Legislation. Yes, legislation. Legislation. 
Yes, legislation is another rules. name for the word, yeah, for the word rules, as you said, Yad Aziz. Can you read the example? The government put the legislation for people in current country. Yes, in country. Thank you so much, Abdulaziz. Let me move with you. I'm still with Abdulaziz. Yeah, this word. Privilege. Yes. So, one word. Privilege. Special yeah. advantage. Yes. Can you read the example for privilege? At the... At what? At, at the amusement. At the amusement park, my car gave me the privilege to have an extra game. Yes, like you were in the park, right? imagine, with your friends. All so of you can I edit? Who's asking? Me, me. Hamdan, welcome, welcome. Session. Okay, Hamdan, you will be uh, you will be reading, but in the in the text, okay. I'm just remembering the or, or uh, yes, reminding the the main vocabulary with my friend Abdul Okay, you and Muhammad Faris will start okay. reading the text. Okay. Okay. Okay, Abdul Aziz. So as I was explaining the example for you, you were in the in the park or at the park with your friends. All of your friends have the same card, but they all played like five or six games. But you have an uh, a special advantage for you or privilege, like your card gave you another game or an extra game. So you have played seven games, but all your friends played only six games. Okay. Okay. Let me move to the last word in the main vocabulary with Abdul Aziz. Virgin. Yes, virgin. This is Muhammad. Kind Ferris, or time. I, I have the last version of the game Call of Duty. Yes. Virgin, like type or kind, as you know, when you have many kinds of something, so the newest one is the last version of it. Like, as you know, Call of Duty are all great gamers. It has many, yeah. like eight or nine versions, but this is the last version of it, like the newest version of it. So now let me jump to the text. So let me share you the book. Yes, here. And we're gonna start with Hamad Faris, then move to, and then after Hamdan we have Abdul Aziz. So Abdul Aziz, please focus while Hamdan and Muhammad Faris, or Muhammad Faris after him Hamdan are reading, okay? Okay. Okay. So let me start in the first uh, introduction here for the text with my friend Muhammad Faris. Let me zoom it as much as possible. Yeah. You can start reading Muhammad. You may sometimes wonder if rules were made to keep you from having fun until to tell you what to do, but what if we had no rules at all? Nobody will tell you what to do. Everyone sounds right, but let's see what it is like to inhabit a world without rules. You just might change your mind. So let's have a stop here. Wait for me, Muhammad, just a second to explain this part for Abdul Aziz quickly just in 50 seconds. 
So yeah, Abdul Aziz, in this uh, topic, we are just imagining our world without any rules. So now we are not on our real uh, world. We are just imagining, like closing our eyes and imagining our world without any kind of rules. Okay? okay. So, and the first scene or the first place to imagine this world without rules will be inside our homes. So this part, like a strange morning, entitled in a strange morning, this first paragraph will speak about the world. We will imagine it without rules, but inside our homes. Okay, Muhammad, you can complete a strange morning. A strange morning. Let's start at home, you alarm clock. Just a while, Harry, without rules, you don't have to go to school. Eventually, you wander downstairs, and you find your little brother eating cookies in the kitchen. Since there are no rules, you can have a cookie for breakfast. But you wonder if you have a shawl, have something sensible like a bowl of cereal. You reach a compromise and crumble the cookies over your cereal in this new world, you will... You will not have to brush your teeth anymore. Of course, this next time you see the distance, you may have a cavity. Yes. Thank you so much, Muhammad, for the great reading. So let me discuss it quickly in a minute also, or in 50 seconds with Abdelaziz Laid. So yeah, Abdelaziz, at your home in a world without rules, do you have to set your alarm to go to school or no? No. No, you don't have to go to school because you don't have any rules. So you can do anything you want. If you want to go to school, it's okay. If you don't want, it's your choice. So he was telling us here that your alarm clock, maybe it will be turned off because there is no need to uh, or for the alarm clock now in this world without rules because you don't have uh, to go to your school. Another thing he mentioned that can you start your breakfast with uh, are you uh, or should you start your breakfast with a healthy food or any kind of food? Abdelaziz, are you still with me? Hello. Okay, have you start or should you start? your breakfast with a healthy food or any kind of food is okay? Uh, any kind of food. Yes, any kind of food. In the world with rules, you have to start your breakfast with a healthy food. But in a world without rules, with no rules, you can start whatever you want. Okay, like here he started his breakfast with cookies. And we know that cookies, we can't start our days with any kind of sweets because it will harm your teeth and you will have a cavity. This cavity is the hole. You know, when you have a whole teeth and you need to go to the dentist or the doctor, when you have a hole, a hole in your, in your teeth, yeah, and you have a toothache because of this hole. So in this world without rules, you don't need to go to school and you don't need to start your breakfast with a healthy food. This is about your world inside homes. Let's imagine our world without rules, but now it will be out your homes, okay? Out your home. And this part will be introduced by my friend Hamdan. Hamdan. Yes, teacher. Okay, Hindan. Muhammad Faris told us about our world without rules inside home. But I need you to tell us our world without rules out home. In second title, a community in confusion. A, communion, a community in confusion. Now you step outside. You decide to go to the playground because there is no law saying you have to go playground because there is no law saying you have to to school no crossing guard 
stand at the corner to help you across the street without traffic laws. Cars by at an alarming speed, honking at each other, and there is not a police officer in sight. There is no safe alternative way to cross the street beside ones. You see the playground. You may decide to to worth the risk of getting hit by car broken. Swing dangle from custody change trash can overflow with pastel snake warmer or paper. A huge tree punch lies across the sending board as a result of all state and prison surviving begin gun. Nobody in charge of taking care of the playground. Yes, nobody is taking care of the playground. So Abdelaziz, are you still with us? Yeah. Okay, Azuz, please focus on me in this part. Now we are imagining the same world without rules. We are still imagining our world without rules, but out home. So out home, he mentioned maybe two or three points. The first point, like there is no guards. You know the guard man who is standing in the street? Yeah. Yeah, beside the traffic light uh, to stop the cars from moving and let the people to cross the street. There is this man will disappear, okay, on the street, and there will uh, there is no traffic laws like any rules for the traffic. All the cars can run in a uh, a fast way and or in a speed a high speed and honking like make noise in the street. Another thing, if you want to go to the park to have your picnic, this park will not be clean because people may. Uh, through the rubbish or garbage like the plastic bottles or snack wrappers and paper bags and uh, the last thing maybe you will find a huge tree uh, where cut and lies across the sliding boards which is a kind of games in the park so he is imagining everything is really random in the world. The streets are random, the parks are random, the playgrounds are random. Okay? okay. Let me move to the next page. But this part will be with Riyad Aziz. Yeah. And before you start reading Azuz, this part is still imagining the same world without rules. We are not in real life now. We are imagining our world, but with no rules. Okay? Okay. Okay, start. Now think. Now think about trying to do all the other things you love want to go to the beach the lifeguards will not be there to keep you safe want to play soccer in the park your state and local governments are not around to men Maintain the parks. So uh, those, you, do you do you know the meaning of maintain? No. It means to fix. Okay. If any game in the park is uh, is broken, we need some people in the park to maintain it or to fix it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> maintain the parks so you never find a place to play. Feel like eating lunch outside as a result of pollution what does it mean excellent pollution yeah what does it mean pollution yeah what does it mean 
Yeah, pollution means when the air is full of smoke, when the air is not clean. So ah, it's okay. polluted by the smoke of the cars. Okay, okay. Okay. The air quality is so bad that you will properly have to wear a gas mask every day. Yes, like the mask you are, uh, we are wearing nowadays when we go out homes for uh, the coronavirus. It will be يعني, a close, very close mask, which called um, a gas mask. This mask protects uh, protect you to breathe uh, a fine air while you are out uh, before, because of the smoke. Okay? I know the mask. Uh, yes. Have you ever thought about our country being invaded by another country? Remember the government runs the army without the government. There is no army to protect us if another country decided to take over our country. Thank you so much, Azuz. So this part in only two points, tell us or still telling us about the bad things about when you are living in a world without rules. We will have, uh, if we want to go to the park, we may find some people eating their lunch and instead of eating it inside their homes, no, they, taking their, they are taking their lunch and eating it in these parks and when anyone break a kind any one of games of the games there is no men in the guard to maintain these games to start playing with it again so after some time maybe all the games will be broken and there is no men or guard men to fix it or maintain it another thing was or another point was the air quality will be so bad because of the pollution. And the last thing was the government. If we don't have a government in the country, maybe any other people from another country can come and take over our country. They can stay in our country by force. If they are stronger, they, uh, they will take our country or take over our country, okay? Now we will stop imagining our world without rules and we will go back to the real life we are living now with the last part of the text back to reality. Go back, we will open our eyes again and we are now living in our world, in our real life with rules, not without rules, it will be with rules. Okay, Mohammed Faris, it's your turn. Okay, I'll mute my mic. Back to reality. Thankfully, that version of our world isn't real. We live in a democracy. We are, we have the privilege of voting the people that we want to run the country, our elected, governed places. Our laws means to help and protect youth if the country outgrows and all allow no. the government no. has Okay, Mohammed, take care. This word is not law, okay? It's law, law, like rule. Law means rule, okay? Amendment. To law, law then the governed can pass amendments the law community workers, such as crossing the police officer and lifeguard, and all work to keep you safe while govern, such as the environmental, which governed as the env environmental protection have made a commitment to inspect the air 
and water of for pollution and don't forget the air med forces which are requested to protect our nation our government and law we are decided to keep you safe and ensure you are treated as fairly as everyone else without them the world will be a different place thank you so much big thanks for your family Faris. so in this part we are now imagining all the bad points we have imagined in the world without rules now we have democracy you have a clean street you have laws you have the the guard man standing on the street for the traffic uh, beside the traffic lights to manage the movement for the cars and the people you have police officers okay to keep you safe in any bad situation you have a government okay at the end you have a government in the country and the armed forces which can uh, protect your country against any other country uh, that want to take over your country so the armed forces can protect our country against any other people want to invade our country okay so our text was in general like a comparing when you compare between two things which is better the first one or the second one in this topic we were comparing between two things the world is without rules it was an imaginary one we were imagining it and another world which is our real world nowadays the world with rules and when we compared these two worlds we found that of course the world without rules will be uh, will be happy and will be more suitable for all of us to live or to live in it to be safe and to lead a good life okay inside homes and outside now we have the, for the last part of our session today it's like a quick summary for all of this text and the summary will be read by my friend Azuz or Hamdan I'm sorry Hamdan didn't read this turn for Hamdan right yes teacher yes this turn for you Hamdan so you can read the summary here the story in narrative nonfiction rules are important to have and to follow. People might think not having rules in a fine way to live, but is not the government passes law to protect people. I'm sorry, it was hidden, right? Did, yes, yes. Yeah, one second. Yeah, here is it again. To to protect people, laws keep our air clean, our road and school fixed, and our streets safe from the crime. The armed forces keep our country protected. Without rules, it is possible. Yeah, I like this sentence, the last one. Without rules, life isn't possible. It would be an impossible thing. Your life would be difficult at each moment. So. Um, I need the same summary, okay, from my friend Abdul Aziz again before I finish my session. Hello. Okay, Abdul Aziz, can you read uh, the summary here? Summary? Yeah. This story is narrative. Narrative. No fiction. Non fiction. Nonfiction yes. rules are important to have and to follow. People might think not having rules is a fun way to live, but it's not. The government passes laws to protect people, laws keep our air clean our roads and schools fixed and our streets safe from crimes the armed 
force keep our country protected with rules, life, and sent possible. Thank you so much, Abdulaziz, and thank you so much for you, my friends, Hamdan, Abdulaziz, and Muhammad Faris. Teacher, only huh? two, only three are in this meeting. Oh. Yeah, we have just finished. I mentioned that, yeah, Abdulaziz, yeah. we have just finished our time for this session, yes, because you have the last there session we start now. There are only three in this meeting. Yeah, we are only three. Maybe the other guys is busy or sleeping, but I was so happy, no. really happy, honestly. Al-Tukh is playing PlayStation. Al-Tukh is playing PlayStation. al yes, I will call his dad. <laughs> <laughs> thank you I so much, Abdulaziz, and then again, and thank you so much, Ahmed Paris for being with me today. Okay, I'm really happy for anyone to be with me. Uh, even I have only one student. I will be so happy to deal with him and start our session together. Okay. Thank you so much, my friends. Bye-bye. Uh, I wish you a happy Bye. Ramadan. Thank you so much. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. See you soon.